Hey, Karen Julia here, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up Google Analytics with Show It. So there's been a whole bunch of changes at Google Analytics recently, and that has resulted in an alternative type of tracking ID. But Show It requires the previous type of tracking ID. So I'm going to show you um, where to find that within Google Analytics and where to add it within Show It, and how to get everything set up so that you can track all the traffic that's coming to your Show It website. So if you don't already have a Google Analytics account, you're going to want to head to Google, type in Google Analytics, and just click this first link here. There'll be a couple of prompts for you to click on um, to set up an account, and you need a, an existing kind of um, Google email address. Um, once you've kind of got to that stage, uh, then you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial. I've already got a Google Analytics account set up, so I'm going to be adding an account to an existing account. So if you're in that situation, then this is going to be super handy for you. There's only really a few steps difference though. So if we head over to Google Analytics, I'm already signed in. And in the bottom left-hand corner behind my head, there's an option where we've got admin there. So you want to click on admin. And then on the left, we're going to click create account. And this is where we're going to create the account for our new show at site. It doesn't really matter what you call this, it's more for your reference. So just call um, the account name something that will make sense to you. I'm just going to click on next here. Property name, I'm going to use the, the actual website URL. Again, it doesn't really matter what you call it, as long as you understand what's what, that's the most important thing. Then you want to correct your time zone. So I want to align this with CST. And then before we go any further, we need to click on show advanced options. If you just click next, you'll be going and setting up one of the new Google Analytics tracking ideas, but that's not compatible with show it, certainly at the time of recording. So we're going to click show advanced options. And then where it says create a universal analytics property, we want to just click that, that button on. We're then going to put a website URL in here. And we don't need the first part, we just need um, the, the URL kind of without the HTTPS part. If you do have the www in there, then you want to make sure you include that. It should be exact. Um, so it's worth checking what's actually shown in the browser. And to do that, you can just kind of double click in the browser and it will show you the full thing. So let's move my head out of the way again. Um, where we've got create a univer universal analytics property only, going to check that box and then click next. Then we want to select the industry and um, usually for photography I would select arts and entertainment. Um, this is more of a kind of a marketing. Let's see if they've got marketing. Which is going to go for business. So you can Check a few of these boxes that are relevant. Um, I'm going to just pop a couple of uh, ticks in these boxes here. Once increase conversions and analyze online sales and measure lead generation. And then just click create. So you want to just change this to the right country. Um, it defaults to being on the US. So if you're in the UK, you just select it. Um, and you just need to tick a box just saying that you've read the terms of service there. Okay, so this is your new tracking ID. So we're just going to copy this, head back over to our Show It website, and then just see in the top left here where you've got site settings, I'm going to head there, go to third party and paste your Google Analytics tracking ID into this box and then click Save. Once you've done that, you're going to want to publish your site so that that's updated. And as of now, it's going to be tracking all of the traffic that comes to your website. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up Google Search Console with Show It, which is a little bit different as well. Um, so if you've got any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, but other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.